family life was a bit mental. Two parents in recovery and having like addictions, um, issues with drugs, alcohol, gambling, the whole nine yards. Now a UFC superstar and LGBTQ advocate, Molly McCann's upbringing was far from straightforward, but she draws on her background for inspiration. I just talk about my hero being my mum and how much she's changed her life in 23 or 24 years, clean and sober, and watching her change her life. My mum would go to a meeting. I would be sat there because you couldn't get a babysitter. She's trying to get clean herself. I'm just listening to all these people and their stories and realising mine's not so bad when these people have been going through what they've been going through. And I just don't ever think you should ever judge people. It's just one of them things that you're taught. The sexuality thing's always a massive conversation, and it, and it is with Meg, um, probably because I struggled so much with it. When you're using derogatory terms and you, your choice of language and talking about gay is constantly negative, that's why people are too afraid to come out, because we're led to believe that we are lesser because of who we are. I'm so OK with being gay, but I am so also hate by the language I have to face every day. I explain it like it's like a cup. Your cup's empty and with every bit of abuse that you get, like a drip, 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 drip. And then some days the, the cup just overflows and, and then when it overflows, you tip it out and you start again. With challenges in her life outside the octagon, Molly found solace in MMA, where her individuality was celebrated. It was the the safe space of mixed martial arts where I didn't feel like I had to hide who I was. I was championed for being me, and that's what was the really cool thing about it. Molly began competing in MMA in 2015, but after joining the UFC in 2018, she found doubts began to creep in. Imposter syndrome has been heavy, so I got signed to the UFC from five years from the day I walked in the gym. I had to learn a professional trade on the job in the most relentless, unforgiving sport in front of the world. May 27th, 2018, I got found out on my debut straight away. March 19th, 2022 was the day that I got rid of imposter syndrome. So it took me all them years, all them fights, and that one finish to, to solidify and to make me remember who I was. I am a mixed martial artist. Don't get me wrong, I'd be a liar in saying that the fight week and the lead up and the, all this and the that and the, everything that comes with it, like, sometimes you can get lost. When you get to a certain level of notoriety, you are now public property, and that's been a real tough thing for me to deal with. I'm fighting on a main card in the UFC yet again and get just as big as applause as any man out there. I get just as much respect off the men as, as anyone else because my fighting style deserves it.